Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu. Welcome back to my channel. In this week, we will be looking at the axis of evil and not the President George W. Bush definition of the countries that supposedly fund terrorism. No, in this week's video, we will be talking about the astronomical axis of evil. But before I tell you exactly what that is, let me remind you of the Copernican principle. Once upon a time, people used to believe that the Earth was the center of our universe. It wasn't until Copernicus came along that we came to accept that actually the Earth orbits the Sun. The Copernican principle states that we, as in the Earth, do not occupy a special location in the universe. We aren't the center of it all. In fact, nobody is. There is no privileged observer of the universe. You and everything about you is ordinary. And this kind of makes sense. If the universe is infinite, how can there be any center at all? The Copernican principle has never been proven, but it coincides well with the cosmological principle, which says that the universe is homogeneous, it's uniformly distributed and isotropic. It looks the same in every direction. In other words, no matter where you are in the universe, everything is the same. But this is clearly not true. On the smallest scales, such as within our galaxy, we see that star systems cluster towards the center of the Milky Way and along the spiral arms. But on the very largest scales, like cosmic web, this is widely accepted to be true. The best evidence for the cosmological principle comes from measurements of the cosmic microwave background. When you look up at the sky, you'll see that most of space is empty, apart from the few stars and galaxies here and there. Well, at least this is the case in visible wavelengths. When instead we observe the sky through microwave wavelengths, the sky is bright, it's filled with a remnant radiation from events in the early universe. This is the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. Homogeneity and isotropy is evident when you remove the plane of our galaxy, the Milky Way. The CMB is 2.73 Kelvin in temperature everywhere. It's also one of the best evidences that we have for the theory of the Big Bang. Since the CMB is the same everywhere, all parts of the sky must have been causally connected at some point. Otherwise, it would be very strange that two regions separated by more than the age of the universe have exactly the same temperature. This in turn leads to the conclusion that the whole universe appeared at a single moment in time. However, with better telescopes and higher resolution, it seems that there's a number of claims of evidence for a preferred direction in the universe. Does this mean that there's an anisotropy? To measure the anisotropy of the CMB, astronomers use what is known as multipole expansion. They look at ever smaller scales on the sky for any signs of variations. The first pole, the monopole, looks at variations in CMB temperature on the entire sky. The second pole, the dipole, essentially splits the sky in half and looks for anisotropy there. And then the quadrupole splits the sky in quarters, etc, etc. And you're getting to smaller and smaller splits on the sky. The point is that if the universe is truly isotropic, then you expect that for all of the poles to have different directions. Regardless of the split, they should be completely random. And initially, that seemed to be the case, except when you look more closely at the quadrupole and octopole. On these two scales, the multipoles appear to point in almost the same direction. And whilst this was first dismissed as statistically insignificant, better data and independent analyses means that it is now a real concern. From the dipole, it would appear that half of the sky is slightly cooler than the other half. And this is perfectly divided by the quadrupole and octopole axes. This anomaly in the CMB is known as the axis of evil. But here is where things get a bit weirder the axes also perfectly align with our ecliptic plane. 
and this suggests that our solar system and hence also the location of the Earth is significant. Is this just a coincidence or is it an evidence for the departure from the Copernican principle? If we can rule out systematics, a deviation from the Copernican principle could have big consequences on physics as we know it. Currently, our standard model of cosmology, Lambda CDM, relies on the assumption of a homogeneous and isotropic universe. But if the Copernican principle doesn't hold, then we no longer need dark energy or an accelerating universe expansion to explain our observations. What's more, it could even put the Big Bang theory into doubt. Maybe we just live at the centre of a big void and are the centre of it all. Clearly, it's important for us to figure out if the Copernican principle holds, but it's still an unanswered question. That's all for this week's video. What are your thoughts? Is this just a chance alignment or could there really be something special about us? Let me know in the comments section below. In the meanwhile, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.